Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about radical equations. We're going to solve each equation, but remember to check for extraneous solutions. So, if I was given this equation, phi equals the square root of x plus 3. Okay, that's it. I know I made it sound like I was having something else there. So, the first thing to get a limited square root is I need to square both sides. So, I'm going to square both sides here. I really should leave myself more room. Square both sides, leave me with the left hand side 25 equals x plus 3. Because remember, squaring a square root eliminates the square root. I then subtract a 3 to both sides, leaving me with a 22 is equal to x here. Okay? And then I can write it nice and neat. Have x come first, so x equals 22. Well, now I need to check. Okay? I need to check that. So to do that, I rewrite my equation 5 equals square root of x plus 3. Now I square both sides. I'm sorry, I'm not solving here. I'm checking. I take 22 and plug it in for x. So 5 equals 22. The square root of 22 plus 3. Let's simplify this. 22 plus 3 inside the square root is a 25. 5 is on the outside. The square root of 25 is just 5. They're equal. We're good. That means 22 was my answer, my real solution here. So let's recap. We started with 5 equals square root of x plus 3. I squared both sides to eliminate the square root, leaving me with 25 equals just x plus 3, because 5 squared is 25. I then subtracted the 3 both sides, leaving me with 25 minus 3 is 22 equals x. Rewrote it to make it nice and neat. x equals 22. I then checked. I took my original equation. I then substitute 22 in for x. Okay, 22 in for x here. Okay. I then simplify 22 plus 3 is 25, the square root of 25 ended up being 5, left and right hand sides were equal, so we're good, no extraneous solutions, so therefore x equals 22 is my final answer.